Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my small crafting space and kind of how I have it laid out and organized. I don't have a huge crafting crafting space. I have a part in our closet. Um, and I know some of you guys don't have, you know, a big old glamorous craft room with lots of storage. So I kind of just want to show you guys how I have my small space set up and how I have it organized. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for it. Okay, so in one corner of the closet, I have this um, Sterilite three drawer organizer um so my top drawer here i have my scrap binder that has all of my oops um has all of my just permanent vinyl um removal vinyl and htv scraps in here so i can use those for other projects i have in this dollar tree organizer i have all of my permanent vinyl and then in this other one i have all of my removable vinyl in this second drawer i have um htv and kind of like fabric things so i have all of my htv rows in here um i have my easy press mat i have some parchment paper if i need it when i'm working with htv then i have I have um, this kind of like miscellaneous, I guess, in a sense. I have some foam here. I have all my templates for things I can cut by hand if I need to. I have these foam um, kind of rectangles from Dollar Tree. I have um, these lace rows from Dollar Tree as well. And underneath that, I have um, my felt fabric. And then underneath my felt, I have fold leather and I have um, canvas material. So that's kind of how I have that organized. In this bottom drawer, I have all of my cardstock. So in here, I just have some rolled flowers that I've done and just have it there in case for other projects. I have my paper cutter, which if for any type of craft, I feel like these are amazing. You can cut your vinyl to the size that you need. Um, you can cut your cardstock. It's really, really helpful. I love my paper cutter. I have um, my scrap folder with all my scrap pieces of cardstock. I have all my glitter cardstock that's too big to really be organized. I have some acetate, um, more glitter cardstock. Then I have on the left, I have all my like single pieces of cardstock, and they're by like the except the top few, they're all by organized by colors. Um, so I have and I have it in this Dollar Tree bin, which is really pretty. Um, on the right side, I have like my notebooks I don't know, packs of cardstock that come in like notebook form. And then I have this huge stack of um, 110 pound cardstock that I use for my packaging for um, my mugs and stuff that I do when I sell them. So on the right of my desk, I have this other three drawer organizer from the same brand. And this one's a really pretty like blue purpley color. I don't know. So on top, I just have um, some projects I've already completed and stuff or products that I need to complete okay in this top drawer I have all my drinkware blanks so I have some wine glasses mugs um, jars and um, kind of like carry cups I don't know what these are called tumblers in the second drawer I have some blanks so I have like a hat I have these hearts that you can put an HTV on I have a makeup bag that I'm gonna Make um, some HTV on. I have some shadow shadow boxes, glass cutting board, a night light, and I have some of these really pretty um, jewelry boxes to put vinyl on. 
So that's what I have in this drawer. And this bottom drawer is kind of like miscellaneous. So in this envelope here, I have kind of like my extras. So I have like extra um, foam tape, extra foam squares, dowels, extra pens, um, hair clips, alligator hair clips, and things like that. Um, then I have some, these are going to be for bath bombs that I'm going to make. So keep an eye out for that video. Then I have these foams for when I do mugs so I can rest the mug on there and put the vinyl on there. Um, these are foam noodles that I cut down to size. Um, I have some cups for when I paint. I have some clamps. I have some ribbons. Um, these will also be for a video, so keep an eye out on those. Um, just some random crafting thing so this is more of like a miscellaneous drawer for me and now oops, and now on to where most of my things are so on top of my desk i have this organizer that i got years ago i think it's by the same brand as the other two drawer organizers so on top i have this bin with my tool so i have my scissors um my rotary cutter i have my brayer tool i have a lot of my weeding tools and tweezers as well as my quilling tools um, all in this bin and then I have my lint roller for when I do um, HTV and other things I have extra blades for my true control knife I have aluminum foil to sharpen my blade a glue eraser in this first top drawer I originally had all these tools in here but I moved them to this bin so here right now, all I have is my measuring tape. I have this one I use the most, and then I have the other one that's like retractable. Um, that's all I have in there. The second drawer, I have my chargers. And this last drawer, I keep all of my pens. Um, I have some pencils, but I have a lot of most of these pens and markers I use with my Cricut. And you'll kind of see in a video, I'll do a video real soon of which ones they are that they fit into my Cricut to draw with as a little hack. So then I have my crafty mat that I created. I have my Cricut and I have my scraper tool. I have a lot of the tools that came with it, like my stylus, um, these very pointy tweezers. I have my scissors. I have um, weeding tools that I've made myself and just standard things. Um, I also have this little jar that I have all my twine in that I made. If you haven't seen the video of how I made this, go watch it. I have all of my mats here hanging on a command hook. So I have all of my mats there. I think I have like five mats on there. Um, so in this drawer, this drawer is a little messy, but in this drawer I keep my iPad. That's my daughter's tablet. Um, I keep my self-healing mat because I use this drawer. I don't have too much room when my Cricut is out. So I use this drawer to load my mats and to just do, it's kind of like an extra desktop. So I keep a ruler. I keep all of like my projects I'm working on in here um, and my notebooks for like video planning and all of that. So then on this top drawer, this one's really messy, but I don't know the best way to organize this this is all my paper crafting um supplies so i have painters tape i have scotch tape i have foam squares i have double-sided tape i have all these gems um kind of like bling and gems um for paper crafting or whatever i want to use it for i have foam squares um foam tape I have glues, just different paper crafting essentials. So that's kind of what I have in this drawer. It's not really organized, but I haven't found an organizer that fits in here really well just yet. But that's that. Then here I have three shelves. So on this top shelf, I have my Easy Press Mini and my Easy Press. On this second shelf, I have this bin right here where I keep all of my vinyl this is what I take with me when I'm doing vinyls I have this bin here 
that I put all my vinyl pieces um when I'm weeding, like all the pieces, you know, that are garbage. So I have some rubbing alcohol, transfer tape. I have these cloths to put the rubbing alcohol. These are lint-free cloths um, that I use on my project. I have this little bottle that I put my alcohol in and I just gotta press down to get it. Then I also have this bin right here that I keep like my camera things in. And then all the way in the back, because these are pretty, these drawers are, um, shelves are pretty deep. I have this bin where I have all of my sequences for like shaker cards and things like that. I have loose glitters. Well, these are a little more chunky. There you go. Um, I have these things for keychains. I have glitter. I have Mod Podge in here. And crazy glue. So I keep that all the way in the back. Trying to make the most of. And all these bins are from Dollar Tree by the way. So. And then. On the bottom shelf. In this black bin. I keep all of my heat gun. So I have all my glue sticks. And my two heat gun guns. I have a low temp and a high temp. So I keep those in here. And then I have two bins back here. So in this bin, oh, and I have some parchment paper in case I need it when I'm working with HTV. So I have this bin here. I have some Velcro, which I will be using really soon in a video. Um, I have some popsicle sticks. I have these bags, these Ziploc bags. So what I do with these Ziploc bags is that when I'm working on projects, and I'm not necessarily going to finish them right away. I just put all my pieces in here. And I reuse these, by the way. Put all my pieces in here so that they're in one spot. And nothing's getting lost. I have some of these paper straws for cake toppers. Look how pretty these are. Um, I also have these mini ones for cupcake toppers. Um, I have a stencil. I have some ribbon. Twine wood glue um i have these for cake toppers and i have wooden letters in here in this other bin i keep all of my paint so these are all of my acrylic paints and um glass paints then i have sandpaper and then in this box i have all of my paint markers paint brushes and sponges and i got this at michael's and yeah, that's all I have in here. Oh.